Jake's water bill is $26.08 per month plus $2.50 per CCF, where a CCF is 100 cubic feet of water. What is the maximum number of CCFs Jake can use if he wants his water bill to be no more than $80? Let's first let n equal the amount of water used in CCFs. The next step is to write an expression for the amount of Jake's water bill. And the water bill consists of a flat fee of $26.08, which gives us 26.08, plus a fee for the amount of water used, and the usage fee is $2.50 per CCF, which in our case should be $2.50 times n, which would be 2.5n. So we have 26.08 plus 2.5n, which gives the amount of Jake's water bill, and since he wants the amount to be no more than $80, this amount must be less than or equal to 80. And now we need to solve the inequality for n. The first step is to isolate the variable term by adding or subtracting. We can undo positive 26.08 by subtracting 26.08 on both sides. Simplifying. 26.08 minus 26.08 is zero. The left side simplifies to 2.5n, which is less than or equal to 80 minus 26.08, which is 53.92. The last step is the multiply or divide to solve for n. 2.5n means 2.5 times n, and therefore the last step is to divide both sides by 2.5. Simplifying 2.5 divided by 2.5 simplifies the one. One times n is n. n is less than or equal to 53.92 divided by 2.5. And let's find this quotient on the calculator. And looking at the quotient, we might be thinking we should round up to 22. But if we round up, then the water bill is going to be more than $80. And therefore, we have to round down to 21. So n the amount of water used in CCFs must be less than or equal to 21. Which means Jay can use a maximum of 21 CCFs of water if he wants the bill to be no more than $80. I hope you found this helpful.